Hi there. Two years ago, I created a video regarding data hierarchy in Power BI. It was quite popular and I wanted to do a revamp of this because much has changed in Power BI. The interface, the look and feel, what you can do with Power BI, and even the way we create data hierarchy. Now, it's a small change, so it's a small video, but I wanted to take you through the steps to creating a data hierarchy and why you want to create a data hierarchy based on a 2020 or later version of Power BI. All right, welcome to our supermarket example of our previous video. Now, if you've watched that, you already know the description, but let me give you the short version here. A data hierarchy is what we're trying to envision here. Let's say we're in a supermarket and the supermarket uh, sells different types of products, right? Apples, rum, e-cigarettes, books. But we can categorize the data. We can create groups and we can create categories. And in the food category, we can have fresh foods or we can have canned foods for drinks. We can have alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks. And then also the other category, which currently has paper as a sole, uh, sole group. You can also add um, cleaning products there, for instance. How we envision a hierarchy is that apples and bread are both foods and they're both fresh. So strawberries and beans are both foods but they are not all in the same group so a data hierarchy lets you create a group of all food of all fresh foods or all drinks and all non-alcoholic drinks which makes it a better way of visualizing your data now this is an excel example and what i discussed in the previous video is that you have this Excel in a online source. The online source in my case is a OneDrive for Business location. That OneDrive for Business location can be used for Power BI as a source. So let's head over to our report file. And so the stock is already in here. I have category, group, product, sales, and I have the old hierarchy called stocks. And let's get back to the core of this video, uh, creating that data hierarchy. In the previous video, I shared that it was a, uh, possible to create a hierarchy by dragging and dropping. Well, this is the major update for the data hierarchy. This is no longer possible. So let's delete the stocks that we currently have here, delete them from the model, everything will break. To create a data hierarchy is you find the highest up value. And in our case, that is the category with food, drinks, and other. Clicking on the three dots here, the ellipsis, I can click on create hierarchy. If I click create hierarchy, what happens is there's an additional value created in our table. And the title of the category is equal to the category and the title is equal to the category and it takes a hierarchy right after. Now, how do I get group and product in here? We could open up and can we drag and drop? No, we cannot. And this is a safeguard because previously it was easy to create a hierarchy just by dragging and dropping by accident. So it, this is an improvement. And I can click on create hierarchy or I can add it to a hierarchy and I'm going to add it to the category hierarchy, which is not adequately named, of course, and we can rename our category hierarchy by clicking on rename stocks. Or should it be stock? So here we have stocks and then we have our product which is the lowest level add to hierarchy and this is how we created our hierarchy now let's say for instance you have your hierarchy at an incorrect um, order to change the order 
you click on now during the creation of the video I thought it would be possible to move a value up and down the hierarchy I also believe I thought I saw that somewhere but currently it's not available so what that means is you need to remove a value from the model and then re-add it so moving up and down is at the moment I believe not possible quite surprised if you do know how to do that moving items up and down in the hierarchy let us know in the comments I would love to hear from you that's it for this short video um, if you liked it make sure to like and subscribe and um, I'll also put a link to the previous video so be sure to watch that one as well So I wanted to do a revamp of the way that we create a data hierarchy in Power BI for everyone that watches this video. Um, <laughs> even the way we create a data hierarchy in Microsoft Power BI.